This week, our sketchbook assignment is going to be our next plant in our theme of native Pennsylvania plants. So I'm flipping open my sketchbook page past my Black Eyed Susans from last week, and this is going to be our page for today's lesson. And this week, you may use a fine tip black pen as well on top of your pencil lines. So our plant for today is a plant that is native to Pennsylvania, which means that it is native, it grows here all by itself. If nobody ever planted it, it would still grow just like the Black Eyed Susans. It is called Jack in the Pulpit. And this flower is a really cool one because if I have my reference photo right here, which is the same one that was in the video, this doesn't really even look like what we would think of when we think of a flower at first. And to go along with botanical illustrations, it would not be a botanical illustration if we did not have the scientific name for this plant. Now remember, scientific names are in Latin. The language of Latin is what is used in the world of science. It is used to identify and describe different plants and animals and all things that need to be identified. Now, the scientific name for Jack in the Pulpit is called Erysema triphylum. And again, scientific names are in Latin. I'm going to move this right up here so you guys can see how to spell it. But whenever I have my sketchbook page, I need to label what, my, what plant I'm going to be drawing. Now, drawing this plant is kind of tricky because this plant is really a unique form. And that's one thing we need to focus on is form. What is the form of this plant? How can we draw something that has an inside, like a cup, but then it also has an outside? If you see this leaf, this petal, we are looking at the inside of it right here, but then over here, this is the outside. So how do we draw that? We need to pay attention to form. And of course, to make our form, we need to pay attention to what we are doing with shape and line. I have my reference photo here. Jack in the pulpits are very hard to find. They grow in shaded, woodsy areas. And so I wasn't able to find any like I was for the Black Eyed Susans, but that's why reference photos are really great, and artists use reference photos a lot. So the first thing that I'm going to do is this part of the plant is called the jack. That part of the plant is called the jack. About this part right here is the jack. So I'm going to start by drawing the jack of Jack in the Pulpit. Then we need to start by doing this shape, all right, the shape of what, what it kind of looks like upside down bell, all right? To me, this looks like an upside down bell. So to start, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to draw kind of like a sideways or backwards C. It's almost like a raindrop, almost like the raindrop. And now, so I have this, this is what I just did, this outside shape. Now I need to complete the inside. So what I'm going to do now is draw a line that goes around and attaches to that curvy C or that curvy raindrop that I just did. So I have my jack and this is the inside of the pulpit. Now if you look at the, your picture of the jack in the pulpit, it has a lip. So I'm going to draw a lip around the outside, but I'm going to carefully have a seamless attachment to the line that I already drew. So next, I need to draw the shape of the base, which is kind of like a bell. And here I have the bottom shape of my pulpit. This is the inside of the petal. So now we need to draw the outside of the petal, and this is how you do it. Where you connected the two lines together, so this point right here, you're going to draw a curved line like that. It looks weird right now, I know. But then, 
if I connect it down in a triangle, this is the outside of my jack in the pulpit. So I'm going to add some details, I'm going to add a stem. Now remember, in a botanical illustration, sometimes attention is given to the areas like the leaves. So once you draw your jack in the pulpit, then maybe you want to go back in and pay attention to the leaves of this plant. What do the leaves look like? Jack in the pulpits have these really cool patterns of stripes. Some of them have light stripes, some of them have dark stripes, some of them are more green, some of them are red. So this is how I would like you to do it. We're going to take our pencil today, and instead of holding it like we normally would, we're going to move it so we are going to be using the side of our pencil. And where you have the side of your pencil, this is where I want you to go in, and I want you to add the stripes, which is the pattern of this flower. So I'm going to add a little bit of darkness to the stem here. Once you feel like you have your shadows done and you've used the side of your pencil to show where the lightest and the darkest spots are of your drawing, then you may go in with a black pen. But you want to make sure. The students that I have in school, we call it a protector paper, and we put that protector paper underneath of where we're drawing so it doesn't bleed through to the second page. So you want to grab a protector paper and then go in with a black pen and start outlining the shapes that you drew with your pencil. This is going to really bring contrast. Don't forget to submit your photos of your work in the shared Google Drive page. Alright, that is a wrap. Please email me with any questions. Bye!